Felix here. What would it take to understand Palantir in, say, two minutes if you knew nothing about it? Well, this would be an excellent place to start, and I'll share that with you on the screen as well. And it's made by a chap called ZV Investment. And it gives you kind of all the core data points. And this is really a great way to look at any stock, but let's run through Palantir here. So they're basically saying top, top of the line number is that compound annual growth has been 27%. So the stock's gone up 27% per year. That's pretty impressive. Gross profit margin it, for the last 12 months is 80%. That's fantastic. That's about as good as it gets. And free cash flow margin of 31% is also very, very good. It means they're getting prepaid. And he estimates the fair price to be $16. Now, that is no longer science. That is now an opinion. And we look at that in, in just a second. But let's just focus on the numbers. You've got revenue growth here, free cash flow growth. That's a good thing to look at. You might want to add profit growth to it, net profit growth. And revenue sources come from 55% government, 45% commercial. I'd like to get the commercial to like 70% because commercial is likely to be more easily predictable. It's less lumpy, less delays and so on. And will they get there? In my opinion, yes, because they have a thousand or so trials pending. Geography, the US is basically where it's at. And if you look at then his key metrics, total customers up 35%, billings up 24%, Stock-based compensation, 21% of revenue. That looks like a lot, doesn't it? And it is, and it's a problem. But they have announced a billion dollars of buybacks, which will undo a lot of that. They haven't done the buybacks yet, but they are going to probably on the next dip, I would imagine. And then the quality scores, I'd kind of ignore those because they're opinions. So I would look more at numbers rather than opinions because you can form your own opinions so revenue growth last quarter 17 percent that's pretty good free cash flow growth 279 percent that is outstanding that's extraordinary cash and investments they have 3.6 billion on the books so they can buy back more and then he says he comes up with this fair value essentially saying declining free cash flow growth and flat free cash flow margins. And I think this is here where it becomes no longer science, but an art. And you have to, for that, understand the business a bit better. Is it going to be cheaper for them to acquire customers or more expensive? Are they about to see explosive growth or is growth slowing down? Is the next customer going to cost more? In my opinion, this is just a humble opinion of an old banker here, I think that it's going to get far, far easier for them to grow, grow because they are now able to install Palantir AIP in a matter of minutes rather than weeks, rather than months, rather than almost a year, what it was almost two or three years ago. And once you have the big client in the industry, it's easier to get the second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth and so on. The first one is the hard one to get. So I'm with Alex Karp on this, that he says we're just at the beginning. We're just getting started. But that's opinion, right? Facts are facts. So start with the facts when you research a business like this. I hope this helps you understand a bit more about what the numbers are. And that's the way Wall Street looks at it. So if you remove all the knowledge you have, all the passion you might have for a business, and just look at the hard numbers, you are now looking at it the way other investors look at it. And that's a really good place to be. And then you can decide, well, maybe I know more. Maybe that gives me an advantage. Or maybe it's not quite time yet to put money into this. So I hope that you find this helpful. This was meant to be a two or three minute video. I probably talked a little bit too long. I'm sorry about that. I hope you enjoyed it regardless. And if you do, smash the you know what. And I'm about to head off for a delicious dinner here on this tropical, beautiful little island that we're at. Thanks for tuning in. And if you want to learn how we can make money out of a stock like this with less risk and potentially a lot more reward, come and join me live on Tuesday, FelixFrenzelRock slash webinar, and I'll show you exactly how I do what I do, how I make money trading. I'll give you my entire system, the entire strategy, all the automations and everything else. Beginners can do it. Anybody can do it, in my opinion. So come and check it out. FelixFrenzelRock slash webinar. Thanks for tuning in.